So I, uh, I fell in love with Judaism in high school through activities in United Synagogue Youth, which was our synagogue-based youth program, and got to meet lots of different uh, Jewish teenagers from throughout the New York metropolitan area. And I really enjoyed uh, Jewish traditions. When I went off to college, I uh, decided to study psychology in the hope or the thought that I would become a psychologist in wanting to help people. In my sophomore year in college, I realized that I could combine my love of Jewish tradition and Judaism with my uh, wanting to help people by becoming a rabbi. And so I applied in my uh, junior year to the Jewish Theological Seminary, which is the conservative rabbinical assembly in New York, rabbinical school in New York. And uh, after a number of interviews over my junior and senior year, I was uh, fortunate to be accepted into the rabbinical school program and studied six years there after, uh, after college. I uh, came to Randolph uh, 25 years ago and have seen a tremendous change in the community in Randolph, both the Jewish community and the general community. Uh, the Jewish community has uh, become smaller in Randolph over the years uh, as Jews have retired and moved to Florida or Jews have chosen to move out of uh, Randolph for various reasons. Um, we've also seen the community become much more diverse and it's truly been a joy to live in a community that is dealing with diversity issues and to see how a community comes together, both a majority culture and various minority cultures, to try to make it work. And while there are certainly many problems in Randolph and uh, certainly much more needs to be done, uh, I think that Randolph has, is an incredible paradigm that can be learned from, from many, many different communities throughout the United States. Um, I've been a rabbi now for 35 years, 25 of them in, in Randolph, and one of the uh, major differences I see is not in the Jewish community and not in the rabbinate, but really in myself. When I uh, first became a rabbi, it was my belief that it was my job to get Jews to accept the gift of Judaism and the gift of Jewish traditions and the gift of Jewish practices. And every time a, a, a Jew uh, didn't accept it, I always felt like I was a failure, like if I was a better rabbi, if I was a better teacher, uh, they would be getting this gift and appreciating it more. Uh, over the years, I've come to realize that it's not my job to force them. What it, my job is, is to teach them. My job is to live it. And it's their responsibility and their choice of which parts of those gifts they want to accept and which parts they're not ready to accept at this point in their, in their lives. Uh, that's a much more mature attitude on my part and certainly gives them much more credit for making good choices for themselves. So over these last 25 years in Randolph, it's been a pleasure to serve this congregation. Temple Beth Am has been a, a wonderful place to work and a wonderful group of people to become friends with. And, a, uh, and Randolph itself is an exciting place in, to live. And I'm grateful that God and the community has brought me here.